my loves welcome back this is a reading for the mutable signs so we're looking at gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces this is basically to see what you have learned you know this is a bit of hindsight what have you learned what have you gained in january that you can take with you as you move into february what needs to be left in january what needs to be taken with you in February to continue to grow and expand and all that good stuff, right? If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any readings from me. So let's just jump straight into it. Spirit guys, this is me connecting to the mutable signs. What's the messages from my mutable signs? What do they need to hear as they watch me? As always, may all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to me. Now remember always these messages are general. If this does not resonate, it's not your message. If it resonates, awesome. Let's go with it. All right. So what's the theme? May the theme for my mutable signs, free spirit. Love this energy. All right. As we move into February, um, from the middle of February on to the middle until the middle of March is Pisces season. This is what I think of when I see free spirit. But also mutable signs. Are adaptable we are changeable we flow with the energy malleable which is beautiful you know it's like we go with the flow of things at the bottom is awareness we have miracles and healing so messages coming through from January as we move into February um, as we wrapped up retrograde season, I was just about to say that you could have recognized things that needed healing and recognition is on top of healing. All right, so healing, you've been aware of the miracles, how far you've come over the last couple of months. The next retrograde season will be from April 21st. So between now and April 21st, all of the planets are direct there's a sense of momentum happening, movement happening, change happening. You know, we've been pushed forward. We have the energy to move forward as well. So you're aware of how much healing you've gone through and the miracles that have been created or are coming from you working through that healing stage and tapping fully into your mutable energies. Now, this is for mutable sun, moon, rising, Wherever you have a mutable placement and this resonates, go with it. All right. But we've been asked to connect to our free spirit, not thinking so much. Well, obviously you're going to think before leaping, but not being stuck in planning stage, not being stuck in making things perfect, not being stuck in the mind you letting the energy, the inspiration flow through you and you're creating, let it, let it flow. Sometimes being in the moment, being spontaneous is where the magic lies. Queen of Wands, as I say that. Letting the energies flow through you. All right, Spirit guys, give me some messages from Immutable Signs. What have they gained from January? And what are they able to take into February? What they've learned. This is interesting. So you have the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So there is change. There is a potential for change. There is a potential to move forward. There is a potential. And, it's, and, you know, part of this is perspective. Like, how are you seeing things? Where have you been stuck? It's time to move forward. Be free. Be in the moment. There is this sense of completion coming. There's a sense of celebration. There could be a coming together. If you're thinking about romance, it could also be like your community, you know, strengthening your community, moving forward with those who support you and knowing fully who supports you as you need. There is this sense of, I'm not bothered or 
people know you know you here or know you want to talk or you know what I'm saying there's a potential for that there's a potential for not seeing things from a bigger picture potentially wanting to be stubborn or not wanting not being able to see the miracles right being asked to be aware contentment is under that you've been asked feelings you've been asked to be aware of the miracles all right, so the energy is shifting. You're moving forward. There's a sense of, or somebody coming towards you even. And there might be this energy of, I can't be bothered or just being very aloof with it. All right, be aware of the miracles. You have the three of pentacles here. The magician at the bottom and the ace of cups is under that wow. Some kind of reconciliation or Wow, the lovers is underneath the Ace of Cups. My word. As I said it, seven of wands. Wow, okay. At the heart for the mutable signs. Page of Pentacles. Somebody coming forward, loves. The Ace of Swords is under that. Somebody's coming forward. A conversation is being had. Ten of Cups. <laughs> you have the Ace of, of Swords. The Ten. My word. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Somebody's professing how they feel, how they really feel. There is a sense of healing happening here. Healing was at the heart of the matter for y'all's main um, oracle message. Okay, I got this. I got this, loves. Let me show y'all y'all's supporting cards. Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, The Magician. There's a sense of wanting to work with. There's a sense of wanting to come together. There's communion. There is support. There is a, a refreshing of an energy. And this coming together is creating a charge. It's like y'all coming together, whether this is romantic or friendships or, or however, part business partnerships, y'all coming together creates a charge that makes things happen, that brings things into manifestation with ease. You need to be aware of how miraculous all of this energy is, and you need to come out of your feelings, have dominion over, have power over your feelings, and see things bigger than your tunnel vision. Because there's this potential for something very beautiful to come forth. There's a working together. There's a building something together. There is a cooperative, there's a cooperative energy working towards the same common goal. All right, perhaps January gave you the time needed to see things clearly, to see the truth, to see what's really a gift within your life. All right, and this is moving into February. All of this beautiful energy is coming forward. I mean, Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Um, with this four, four of Wands energy. Like I said, there's a general sense of working together. All right, let's see what is the word of advice for you guys. That was very, um, let me just come out, matter of fact, type of vibe. Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So with this energy, it's like, don't pick up other people's. You need to be grounded in yourself to know the facts for you. What has what has what were there similarities to a previous situation or even people that you're in communion with like having conversations with asking like what do you think about this situation and they're telling you from their perspective what's happened to them is not what's happening for you you understand what i'm saying like what is treasure for some people might not be treasure for you and what is garbage for some people might not be garbage for you you got to know for yourself what works for you 
You understand, the King of Pentacles is unmovable. The King of Pentacles is an energy of directed, purposeful, directed energy. And even though it might not make sense to others, it makes sense to you, right? And that's all that matters. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords, please. Ace of Pentacles. So what's garbage for one person might be a treasure for you. Discernment, awareness, miracles, healing, right? It might not even be other people. It might be your past self. Yourself at the beginning of January might not be who you are at the end of January. Yourself from the beginning of January that would have put up with certain things or had certain blockages or, or you know, couldn't see a bigger picture is not who you are now as you move into February. Like I said, King of Pentacles, purposeful. Knowing what to drop knowing what to leave in the past so that you can move forward so you don't miss the miracles of life this is beautiful something's very grounded something very grounded and solid is coming here coming in here all right at the end of january moving into february perspective is 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 key this is the final message What's the final message from my musical science spirit, guys? Make it clear, please. There's my Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you got the Three of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So part of growth is knowing what to leave in the past. Is that what I meant to say? Part of growth It's change and change means stepping out of your comfort zone change means moving into the unknown and sometimes that comes with a sense of fear or anxiety or worry or is this the right thing for me to do you know all these different things but what you are worried about is very much in your mind and not necessarily what's happening in reality all right um what i'm seeing here is like there's a celebration but on the other side there's like oh my god and i don't even know why that is hold on the nine of swords so that's gemini's energy why is this nine of swords here the chariot so it's like and this is a message that's come through for all of the modalities changing your perspective about what change is and as much as you want to move forward or you want this change you also worried about the what ifs and if we continue to stick on the what ifs we will never grow we will never get what we've been asking for we can't get change without change and as mutable signs we should be reveling in feeling powerful in this change in in calling in change i think what's happened that for a lot of people regardless of modality is that we've been in such a challenging period over the last three years like astrologically that it's almost like it's kind of, it's kind of like every time you feel like you're thinking about something positive and life just, there's a sense of stagnation and you're thinking, will this ever shift? Will this ever change? And it is changing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We got this. What is presenting itself now is not the same as what you've been encountering all along, okay? I feel like you can trust yourself to breathe. You can trust, you can allow yourself to enjoy whatever beauty is coming forward because you're moving in a whole new direction, loves. All right. 
oops king of wands here at the bottom so moving forward there's the star trust the divine alignment all this is being divinely guided you got the two of wands here all right so you can move forward don't yeah yeah move forward in strength i mean look at this energy yeah beautiful i mean come on four of wands with the page of of pentacles look at the energy so whether this is a new relationship or a healed relationship opportunities money growth business collaborations loving the vibe all right let's get some oracles remember free spirit that's your first message and this and this don't these two energies do not match <laughs> Free spirit and this nine of swords don't match. Allow yourself to enjoy the, the beauty of life. All right, let's get some more messages for the mutable science spirit, guys. Nothing will come of this situation. Just as I was saying, so you worried, you hold your head, you stress, you frustrated, you like full of anxiety. And it's all for nothing because what you're expecting or what you're worried about is not actually what the energy is. So don't go into those negative thoughts. Don't create self-fulfilling prophecies, all right? Luck is on your side. Look at that. New moon in Sagittarius. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Y'all noticing all these new moon cards? And then you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Let's see, at the heart is, nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon, which is our card, mutable moon. M mutable moons would be a Gemini moon, a Virgo moon, a Sagittarius moon, or a Pisces moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. So you still have the ability to change, to shift, to mold things as you, as you desire. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Nothing is yet set in stone. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. You got the new moon in Aries card here. So lots of fire. All right, let's get a, a love card. Because my first thing is seeing this four of wands. It's connected to relationships. So let's look at love, romance. Could be friendships. Whatever resonates for you. What's the messages from mutable signs? What have they learned? What are they taking with them as they move into February? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. First step. First step. Right? You are the blue. You, how you treat yourself is a blueprint for how you allow others to treat you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. At the bottom is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there's a lot of attraction, attraction, attraction. Right? Remember what you're magnet. Remember you're magnetizing as you go along. What are you magneti magnetizing towards you? When I see this King of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles, you notice he's rolling this pentacle on his knuckles. You know, very determined, very purposeful. That was the word I used for him. Very purposeful in action. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Three of Cups. Enjoying the moment. Enjoying whatever the reconciliation or crossing paths with somebody new. Whatever this is. There's something coming in. There's an offer being made here. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right, let's see. At the heart is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Wow, there we go. 
there we go we got chemistry we got retreat so my my mutable signs enjoy whatever this new energy is it's not like what has happened before Call your powers back. Give me some more messages for my mutable signs. Spirit guides. All right, so you have a year from now. Okay, a whole bunch of cards. A year from now, get more information. Communicate clearly within the next few months. A year from now, it'll all make sense, I suppose. A year from now, get more information. So now that everything is out of all the planets out of retrograde, the information is going to come in. The, the clarity is going to come in. Communicate clearly. And within the next few months so with communicate clearly within a year from now get more information communicate clearly within the next few months be assertive wait so you got wait within the next few weeks recovery be assertive no and let go no need to worry and at the heart is forgiveness. Ooh. Ooh. Forgive big happy changes, forgiveness, and yes. So remember when I was telling you all about this four of cups? And somebody coming forward to offer you something, you acting like, oh, whatever, or oh, no, you want to talk, or you know. Or no, you got time. You know, whatever it is that you're thinking, whatever it is that you might be feeling a little bit petty about or salty about, forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive your. Forgive the other person or persons. Forgive the situation. Release the sense of burden regarding whatever this is that you're thinking about. It's time to take your power back. Ask yourself, what do I really want? What do I want? What do I want? Let go of the past. Because there's a new opportunity here. So ask yourself, what do I want? What am I manifesting? What have I been manifesting? Does this reflect any of that? I'm going to pull some Lenormand. Hard to shuffle because they're so small. Okay, spirit guys, give me... Immutable signs. Final message. As I said it, it came. You have the lady and the gentleman. My loves, y'all have the lady and the gentleman. Whether, whatever, how, remember this is energy. So, regardless, this is a couple. All right? This is a couple. The lady and the gentleman. Ace of spades and ace of hearts. You have the mountain at the bottom. The scythe. The book. So there's some kind of information coming forward. Wow, you have, wow, you have the sun, the book, and the clover together. Some kind of information coming forward. <clears throat> All right. All of this will seem quite serendipitous, like, like everything is just lined up so like perfectly like how like you're you're how is this happening you know it feels lucky and it feels divine 
you have the mountain and the birds with the star next so these two cards the star the birds and the mountain came out for the fixed signs together so there's some kind of message coming forward that is going to take you to higher levels i think the fix of the cardinal i can't remember but a message coming forward that is going to show you why things have been difficult why things have felt challenging you know giving you a bigger a higher perspective the scythe with the cross all right clearing out whatever bs you know you've been dealing with up to this point and the key is after that wow mutable signs my word what a reading i hope these messages support you check out the playlist of videos to see where you are at a year from now or a couple months ago because remember time is all is all happening all at the same all 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 at the same time thank you for watching my loves and stay tuned for your february readings until next time be well bye, -bye.